so he decided to confront this famous TikTok star. He has almost 7 million followers. He literally tried to steal my girlfriend. He attacked me. Alright, what are the YouTube? It's your boy Marty here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and use code Marty in the item shop. And with all that being said, guys, let's get into this video because I have a very scary and emotional video here for you guys today. Because in today's video, guys, a famous TikToker tried to attack me and my girlfriend. Yes, that's right, guys. If you guys watched my last video, you know that this famous TikToker who goes by the name of Bryce Hall and has 7 million followers tried to steal my girlfriend. And obviously, me being me, I wasn't gonna let that happen. Happened. So I decided to invite him in real life to my girlfriend's house to confront him But he didn't know I was gonna be there But it didn't go how I wanted it to go because after I confronted him He got so scared and went absolutely crazy and when I say crazy I mean he literally started smashing windows and breaking stuff. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek right now And that's just one clip. I'm telling you, this guy is crazy, but it's time to completely expose him. So please, guys, make sure to watch it until the very end of this video to know exactly what happened between me and this famous TikTok star. Roll it. Alright, so first I'm gonna show you guys the messages he sent me the morning after all this went down between me, him, and my girlfriend. And by the way, if you guys are new here and you don't know who my girlfriend is, her name is Lina. She's actually a TikTok star herself. She has about a million followers. And me and her actually have been only dating for about a week. I literally asked her out and made a complete video about it on my channel. And I literally showed the whole process. It was absolutely insane. But anyways, guys, this morning, which was literally less than one day after Bryce tried to do that whole attacking thing on me and my girlfriend, he messaged me saying, I hope you know this is isn't over the little plan you and your dumb girlfriend made was just the stupidest thing you could do you better watch your back and if you guys don't know what plan he's talking about well he actually tried to ask out my girlfriend but i was really mad about that so me and my girlfriend lana came with this plan that we would expose him in person so we ended up inviting him to her house and i was supposed to be there hiding with the camera to confront him in person to see what he says and that's exactly what we did but it went so bad and you guys will see exactly why but anyways i replied to him saying what do you mean question mark she was my girlfriend he literally tried to steal her and I wasn't gonna let that happen and give me my camera back it has all my footage and he literally robbed it from me Bryce and one thing I haven't told you guys yet is like here's what actually happened after he showed up to my girlfriend's house and I popped up and confronted him he got so angry he ended up going absolutely nuts he got a golf club a literal golf club and started smashing stuff he broke a window at my girlfriend's house and almost attacked us completely and I was recording the whole thing but right before he started to run away he literally snatched my camera out my hand and took it from me so as as of right now, he has my camera, but I actually ended up calling the police on him and he did get arrested. So I'm working with the police to get that footage as we speak and it probably will be in this video somewhere. So you guys will see it. Don't worry. But then right after he says, do you really think I'm going to give it back to you after you literally embarrassed me? After I spent the night at the police station in a cell, you have another thing coming. And that's actually news to me, guys, because I didn't know he ended up spending the night in the cell. All I know is I ended up calling the police on him and they caught him. But after that, I have no clue what happened and it turns out I I guess like he said he spent the night at the police station which doesn't sound like fun and i bet he's really mad about that so that's only gonna make the situation even worse than it already is so you know me being me i reply to him saying you spent the night in a cell because you literally tried to attack me and my girlfriend and broke the window at her house and on top of that this isn't even your first fight you get into fights all the time you're crazy and that last part actually is true like i'm not lying to you guys all you have to do is a quick google search and you can see like this guy has a history of fighting people i mean just take a look at this fight that happened less than a couple months ago where he was once again fighting with another random guy at an event roll it
as you guys can see, the guy at the end who was getting carried out by the security guards is Bryce Hall, the same guy that did those absolutely crazy things to me and my girlfriend last night. So, I mean, that just proves how crazy he is. Like, I don't even need to explain to you guys anymore. He's obviously capable of doing the things I'm telling you. But anyways, next, you're possibly saying you decided to call the cops on me and have me arrested. You're lucky I'm rich and I can bail myself out. And you call that attacking? That's nothing compared to what I'm about to do to you. See you soon. What? Are you guys seeing this right now? He just said, see you soon, as if he's gonna show up at my house. Like, imagine I'm recording this video right now and I hear a knock on my door and it's Bryce Hall. That would be absolutely insane. Next, I say to him, I love how you're acting like this is my fault. You tried to steal my girlfriend, came to her house, and when I confronted you, you tried to attack us with the golf club and broke a window and stole my camera with all my footage. We are the victims, not you. And that's basically just a simple rundown. I mean, it was way crazier than that, but those are the key points of what he did to me and my girlfriend last night. And of course, I'm gonna call the cops on that. Like, who wouldn't call the cops when somebody literally does that to you? But he just doesn't understand. I mean, just take a look at what he says next. He says, I didn't give you permission to film me. You'll be hearing from my lawyer about that. As for you, I'm not done with you and your plastic girlfriend. She really thinks she could get away with playing me. Like what? Does he really think me filming without his permission is as bad as what he did to me? And on top of that, I don't know why he's calling my girlfriend plastic. I mean, that makes no sense. So I say, it isn't fun being on that side of getting played, is it? How do you think I felt when you tried to ask my girlfriend out knowing perfectly well she's dating me? And then he says, forget about that. I have 50 girls lined up just like her, ready to take her spot. I don't care about her, but I will get even with you. I'm calling my boys right now, and I know where you live. You're done for. And I mean, if he has so many girls lined up, I, then why in the world was he coming after my girlfriend trying to ask her out on the date? I mean, something clearly isn't adding up here. And quite frankly, I'm just so sick of this guy. So I say, let's just end this like real man. Nobody needs to get hurt, and nobody needs to get embarrassed. All I'm asking is, is for you to apologize to me and my girlfriend, and I'll forgive you right here. And that's just straight up facts. Like, you guys know me. I'm not wanting to get into internet drama or any beef or anything like that. So if he apologizes, like, I'll literally let it go and forget. I do not care. But he has different plans because after sending my girlfriend's TikTok, he says, apologize for what? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your girlfriend is made out of plastic and looks like a Barbie doll with thousands of dollars spent on surgery. I'm sorry you're stuck with her. And that is just too far. And I'm not going to lie, you guys. That made me really mad. So I say, what are you talking about? How can you call a girl plastic when you look like Sid from Ice Age? If you think she's so plastic and fake, then why did you try to hook up with her? And I mean, I'm not one to judge, but here's a side-by-side -side comparison. And please tell me I'm wrong. Like, tell me you guys don't see even a little bit of resemblance because I sure do. And then next, he replies to me saying, because I was just trying to smash and dash. Someone like you doesn't understand that because you don't get girls. I'm TikTok famous. I got girls who want to pay me to be their boyfriend. You think I care about your plastic girlfriend? And that was just crossing the line. Like, I've had enough of this guy talking about Lina in bad ways. So if he's going to talk about my girlfriend, then I'm going to start bringing up his ex-girlfriend. So I reply with this TikTok of him and his ex-girlfriend. And I say, isn't that your ex-girlfriend, Addison Ray, who literally broke up with you because she realized the type of person you are? Imagine being the ex-girlfriend, the most famous TikTok girl in the world and getting rejected by Lina. No wonder you're mad. And I didn't want to go that far. Like, I didn't want to bring up his ex-girlfriend, but he forced me to. I mean, he kept saying, Lina's made of plastic, Lina's this, Lina's that, and that's just too far. Like, that's not how you treat a woman. And somebody has to teach him a lesson, so I had to do it. And trust me, guys, he was not happy. Just take a look what he says next. He replies to me saying, don't ever speak about my ex-girlfriend she wants me back i just don't like her no more and at least my ex is real unlike yours who's made out of plastic i bet you she's only dating you for youtube clout i swear this guy's the dumbest kid i've ever talked to in my entire life so then i say to him if she wanted to date me for youtube clout she would have left me for you since you're way more famous and can you stop comparing girls as if they're some sort of object did your parents teach you to be respectful to women because i swear this guy has no manners like he's the most disrespectful kid i've ever met in my entire life i mean let me show you guys a clip just last year when he got into another fight just because this guy was looking at him literally because he was looking at him roll it i thought we were all having fun here bryce what happened he's still cute though Look at Bryce. Wow, I hope somebody got a video on it. Still cute. Look, look at the body, y'all.
Yup, there you guys have it again. I literally cannot make this up. This guy gets into a fight everywhere he goes. And I just happen to be another one of those people that are on the uh, bad side of Bryce Hall, I guess. And just when I thought I couldn't get anywhere, see your plastic. The only time I respect that girl is when she's in my bed and even that's pushing it. I do what I want, what I want. So stop trying to distract me from the fact that I'm coming to your house. And if you don't come outside, I'm going to drag you out. Once again, threatening me, saying he's going to come to my house and do whatever. I mean, at this point, I'm not even surprised. So I say, you're trying to come over to my house for a while over a girl that happens to be my girlfriend. All I want is my camera back. I don't want any beef. No hard feelings. I don't even want an apology anymore. Just give me my camera back, please. And I know some of you guys may wonder, like, why do you want it back so badly? Well, that's because it has all the footage on, on it that I promised I would show you guys. And I'm going to do whatever it takes because I promise you guys. And you guys deserve to see it as much as I do. But anyways, next he says, yeah, let me just give it back to you so you can upload footage and make me look stupid in front of millions of people, right? Why don't I bring the camera to your house? We can fight in real life and the winner gets the camera. But if I win, I get to upload the footage on my channel. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Did he just say that he wants to 1v1 me over the camera but in real life? Is this guy absolutely insane? So then I reply him saying, how is that fair? You literally said you're bringing all your friends and on top of that, you're 20 years old and I'm 18. But I mean, I do want my camera back so let me ask my girlfriend what she thinks. And the reason I did this is because obviously Lina has as much to say in this situation as I do because this whole thing happened to the both of us. So I'm gonna be asking your opinion right now. I messaged Lina saying, OMG Lina, that Bryce kid is trying to come to my house and he said if I want my camera back I have to fight him and she replies saying oh my god no baby he's so much older than that isn't even fair I doubt he'll be alone why do you need the camera just buy a new one I mean I wish it was that easy line I wish I could just buy a new camera that already had the footage on it but it doesn't work like that so I say no you don't understand that camera had everything I used to record Bryce at your house when he literally tried to attack us with a golf club and broke your window I need that footage more than anything but literally next line says something I never would have expected in a million years like it's literally a Christmas miracle even though it's not Christmas she replies to me saying oh my god no you don't I have a camera in my backyard that has all of it recorded that's what I was telling you last night but you wouldn't listen to me and that's when it hit me guys I remember that Lana was telling me about some sort of security system she has in her backyard that has like three or four cameras that, that record every square inch of the yard including exactly what happened between me and Bryce last night so she probably has it all recorded at her house I don't have to fight him after all and I don't need my camera back I literally could not be any happier right now so I say oh I'm so sorry my mind was all over the place because of what Bryce did please send me that footage I'm gonna tell him I'm not fighting him so then right after that I went back to my conversation with Bryce and I say to him chokes on you I don't need the camera footage she has cameras behind her house and she has it all on tape including the part where you tried attacking me and I'm gonna release it your career is over and people will finally see you for the type of person you really are and trust me when I say this guys after I sent that message to him he was not happy he replies to me saying oh is that right because me and my boys are about two minutes away from your house and I'm not gonna let that happen so we'll see if he can upload it from the hospital bed see you soon like what he literally said he's coming to my house and he's gonna be here like very soon and I don't know what to do like what if he actually shows up I mean he's not the type of guy who's gonna wait wait for me to come outside like he's literally gonna break my door or do something absolutely insane and I'm not gonna lie to you guys like I'm actually scared because Lina still hasn't sent me that footage from the cameras in her backyard and I don't have time to upload it right now so I'm gonna try my best to get it out for you guys to see if you guys don't see it right now make sure to go to my social medias link in the description I might put it on there or I might have it in my next video first thing I'm not exactly sure yet So if you guys want to see this footage between me and Bryce either follow my social medias or subscribe to the channel with notifications So you can see it in my next video But with all that being said guys if you made it to the end of this video Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching Don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel on post notifications and it's been your boy Armani. I'm out. Peace